Right, so that's the plate preparation. Obviously you can use powdered clay and it's about 45% um, water, uh, 34% water to powder. But uh, every clay varies. Um, here we're using porcelain. I am afraid I do it by eye and I tend to go from wet clay up to soft clay. So I take it out of the bag and then I find the easiest way is with a fork to start softening it up. And I'll keep working that until I start getting a lump of clay that is that sort of consistency. So it would be too soft to throw with, but it's certainly not runny slip at all. And what I'm looking for is just a bit of moisture on the surface, because as you can imagine, um, the clay is going to extrude, and each extrusion has to stick together, and that little bit of moisture makes sure that you get a good bond between the layers. It also has to be soft enough to go through um, the little nibs, um, and again, why I can't say exactly what the consistency is. If you're working very fine, you need a slightly softer clay to push through than if you're working slightly bigger and with a bigger nozzle. So we've got a, s a series going from very fine. These plastic nozzles I actually just cut off to vary the size. Um, but there you've got a, um, a choice of four sizes to go with. Now, consistency of clay is absolutely vital to make sure that you get a nice even um, print and uh, what I do to make sure that I get that is to push my soft clay through a sieve and this makes sure that there are no lumps because the last thing you want is a couple of hours into a print is to get a blockage So there we've got enough to fill one cartridge. And then smear that around. You've got to be careful now not to get air bubbles into it. So I fold it and smear it. This is just to make sure I've got an even consistency. We've got the spatula with a rounded end to it to actually fit the top of the container. And I can now start filling these. All right, and you see I've been very careful not to get any air bubbles into it as it fills. If there are some air bubbles, it's not the end of the world, but you'll hear them popping through as it prints. Um, you'll get a little scar on the surface of your print but then you being clay you can always just sort that out later add a little bit of clay i just actually have a handheld syringe with clay in it and that can extrude it as required when you're doing repair jobs so you can see it starts filling quite quickly it takes a bit more pressure as it goes down to get it pushed it pressed in Until it's nearly coming out the bottom, and then just take off any excess. And we've got a little plastic plate that goes in the top because the air pressure is now going to press that down, slowly extruding the clay. Um, and uh, from about oh, two centimeters down, if you don't have a plastic plate, the air just pushes it through. Once again, this will take about an hour to uh, print, and after an hour of printing, you don't want the air pressure to then blow over your print.